One evidence of strength is movement. Strong people are never stagnated. They are moving in doing one thing or the other. You told everybody God gave you a television ministry. What have you done about it? Move! You want to build, find out how much is land. They take you to a place, they say it's 50 million. Put your hand in your pocket and tell them I'm coming back. Don't say I'm waiting for somebody to give us gift of land. Are you a beggar? God did not call, call you to be a beggar ministry. Go and find out. And when you get the land, go and buy blocks. Go and buy cement. If it's two bags you can buy, buy it and put it on the ground. Buy stones and start harassing the ground that I'm coming. Strong people don't sit down. The proof of strength is movement. If you are not moving, you are weak. I'm saying this to all of us, therefore, anything you claim God has told you, start moving towards it. You say God has called you to be an evangelist. What crusade have you held? Stop waiting for instruments. Evangelism begins with your mouth. When God sees that you have ministered to enough people that your voice cannot carry again, he will give you speaker. He will give you microphone. But go and use your mouth. You mean you can't speak to 30 people without microphone? Make a move against stagnation. Go and start doing something. If you don't move, nothing will... It's important to learn patience so you don't end up a patient. It's important to learn patience. My car was a mockery. Don't need horn to clear the road. When it's coming, you will know. <laughs> Love your life, you clear. <laughs> one of my precious ones, he's a professor of medicine. He said to me humorously one day, he said, you know something, sir? I said, no, I don't. He said, in those days, we quickly run out of fellowship <laughs> to avoid pushing the car. <laughs> it takes patience to maximize our glorious destiny in Christ. It takes patience. It takes patience. The car was a mockery then, just 12 years after. It has translated to a plane. Somebody's going somewhere here. Amen. Be happy with yourself. Yes. Be happy with God. Yes. Retain your delight in obeying Him. I always tell people, in every workplace, don't go to end, but go to learn. Without prejudice to your earnings, of course. Because learning is a greater investment than any. Your earning stops at your pocket, but your learning goes into your future. Earnings will stop when you leave a place, but your learnings goes beyond your point of termination. A man can be driven away from his place of work, but you cannot retract the lessons you have learned. When people understand that they are not there to end, they will not steal. Unlike what we have today, somebody is working a place. Let me get anything. I, anything I can get. Let me just get anything. <laughs> just like anything he sees, yes, he grabs. Sir. And in the process, his eyes cannot learn. Mm. Think about Gazi. Gazi was anything I can get. Yes, anything sir. I can get from Elisha. Anything I can get until he got to the process. And missed the lessons that would have placed him as a next person.